Hey everyone, I have some big news to share. Alicia and I are moving to Malaysia. <laughs> yeah, so we are planning to leave at the end of April next year. This was not an easy decision for us and it took a long time to come to this conclusion, but we believe it's the right thing to do for our family. And in this video, I want to break down the main reasons we decided to leave San Francisco and also why we chose Malaysia as our number one destination. First, I want to introduce the family. I'm Andy. I was born in China, grew up in New York City, currently living in San Francisco, and I run a company called SF Adventurers Club. It's a community where people come together for friendships and adventures. My wife is Alicia. She was born in Brisbane, Australia, and she is working as a associate director at a biotech company in South San Francisco. Together, we have our son, Archer, who is almost three, and his sister, Aria, who is almost six months old. First off, I want to say that we as a family love San Francisco. This is the city where I spent most of my 30s, where I started my first company, Urban Adventure Club, where Alicia and I met, fell in love, got married, and started a family together. We have lots of friends in the area that we love to spend time with. We've also had countless amazing adventures all over the Bay Area. We love to go skiing and snowboarding in Lake Tahoe. We love to go to national parks like Yosemite. And we love to drive around and do road trips all around the state. So this wasn't an easy decision for us. Together, we built a comfortable life here in downtown San Francisco. But now that we have two kids, our priorities have changed. And that's why this change had to happen. Now, let's talk about the big reasons for the move. Reason number one, <clears throat> cost of living. If you live in California, then you know that cost of living here is astronomical, especially if you have kids. So daycare costs for one kid in San Francisco can be $3,000 or more per child. Now we have two, that doubles the price. And as a family of four, you need a two bedroom apartment, which runs at least $4,000 in the city. So together, rent and daycare alone is over $10,000 a month. And that's just too high for us. When looking at other places that we can live, Malaysia came to the top of the list because the cost of living there is very affordable. The rent for a family like ours in a two or three bedroom apartment in downtown Kuala Lumpur would be under $2,000. And daycare costs for each child will be under $500. So together, you're looking at under $3,000 for rent and daycare compared to minimum $10,000 in San Francisco. So huge difference and one main reason why we are deciding to move. Reason number two, Kuala Lumpur is an amazing city. We're not looking to move somewhere just to save money. We also want to live in a first world city with modern amenities and amazing culture and food. And Kuala Lumpur is that. You guys might know of the Petronas Towers, which at one point was the tallest building in the world, and that's in downtown Kuala Lumpur. And they're currently building the second tallest building in the world, the Merdeka 118. In addition to all the skyscrapers, the city has amazing public transportation system. And you can take buses and trains all over the city for very cheap. Getting Ubers and Lyfts, which is Grab in Malaysia, is also very in inexpensive. The city has amazing food. It's influenced by Indian, Chinese, and Southeast Asian cultures. And so you can have fine dining and also hawker stalls that are very affordable to eat out. This is also a city of almost 9 million people. So you have all the other entertainment options, concerts, shows, sporting events. So we'll have plenty to do in this amazing city. On top of that, it is also very clean, very green, and very safe. These are things I'll touch on later. Reason number three is career and the overall outlook for Southeast Asia. So Malaysia, along with other South Asian countries, are some of the fastest growing countries in the world. They have a young, educated population, and there's just a lot of potential in this area for future growth, especially in the biotech sector, which Alicia is in. Singapore is a major hub, and likely the area of Asia will see lots of biotech growth, especially as it deals with an aging population in many of the countries like China and Japan. So we're hopeful as the economies in South Asia develop, there may be more opportunities for us to take advantage of. Also, 
Singapore and Kuala Lumpur, are both very international cities, which means a large expat population. And that means I can run other chapters for the Adventures Club in these cities. Reason number four, great travel opportunities. Kuala Lumpur is very centrally located in Southeast Asia. It is a stone throw away from places like Thailand, Cambodia, Vietnam, Singapore, and a little further away, you can reach India, China, and eventually to South Korea, Japan, and Australia. And these are places we will love to spend more time in to explore and get to know better. And also, we'll be closer to family. I have family in China, and Alicia has family in Australia, and it will be much easier for us to go visit them. Reason number five, language and education. I'm Chinese, so I speak Mandarin. I would love for my kids to grow up speaking Mandarin as well. And Malaysia and Singapore are the two places that are English and Mandarin friendly, which means they'll grow up bilingual just by default. And in this world, speaking English and Mandarin will get you pretty far. In terms of education, Malaysia and Kuala Lumpur especially has lots of options in terms of public and private education. And private education can range anywhere between three to $15,000 a year. Whereas in San Francisco, you're looking at a minimum of thirty to forty thousand dollars a year, so much more affordable for two kids. Next reason, number six, is health and safety. Health is becoming much more important to us as we get older. Now that we have two kids, and also our parents are getting older, Malaysia has very high quality of health care. Both public and private options are available, and expats generally do opt for private health care. And the healthcare system, it is very high quality because being a former British colony, a lot of the doctors in Malaysia are educated in the UK. So you have highly trained doctors with first world amenities and facilities, which means better healthcare. In terms of safety, Malaysia is a safe country compared to places like San Francisco. It doesn't have a major homeless population problem. And also, there are no guns in the country. So one more thing we don't have to worry about. Reason number seven, buying and owning land. Surprisingly, Malaysia is one of the few countries that allow foreigners to buy and own property. And this is something that we would love to do, um, either buy a apartment in downtown Kuala Lumpur or a house in the suburbs. On top of that, properties are much more affordable in Malaysia compared to San Francisco. We can get a two to three bedroom apartment in a modern condo with amazing amenities for under $250,000. And you can't get anything close to that in San Francisco. This also opens up the opportunity for my parents to come to spend time with their grandkids and be comfortable in their own house. The last reason, but definitely not the least, is that this will be an amazing adventure for us as a family. We love to travel and we want to share that part of our lives with our kids. Our kids are young enough that they're not in school yet, so it's a great time to relocate to explore a new country, to experience new cultures, and to learn about ourselves as a family. And I hope that this experience will help our kids grow up to be more well-rounded individuals with a wealth of travel experience. I wanna emphasize that this is not a permanent move. We're not settling down in Malaysia. We're open to the opportunity to be in other places as well. It really depends on how the next couple of years will go. Um, I can see as potentially living in China at one point, or going to Australia, where Alicia's family is. We're planning to leave at the end of April next year. Seems like a long time, but I know it's going to be here before we know it. We're really excited about this next chapter of our lives, and I hope you're excited for us as well. And I can't wait to share this journey with you all. If you have any questions about any of the reasons I mentioned earlier, please feel free to ask a question in the comments, or if you have any tips on traveling to Asia, moving with a family, anything related to that, please also feel free to share it. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more updates on our new adventure. Bye.